Welcome to Waterworks Gallery, who we're presenting the Aquitaine etchings of Stephen McMillan. So Stephen, can you tell us a little bit about what is an Aquitaine etching and kind of show us some tools? Yeah, one thing I start with a copper plate, and this is the bare plate, and I sprinkle a rosin dust on it and heat it, and it melts onto the plate, and there's little acid-resistant dots over the whole surface. And so, and the way I etch it is I dip into a tray of acid. So the acid is going to etch around the rosin dots, making little pits around the, the metal, around the protected spots of the plate. And then when that's printed, when it's inked up, that will hold ink. And the deeper it's etched, the more it'll hold, more ink it'll hold, and the darker it will be. So less etching, lighter tones, more etching, darker tones. Now the way to control how how to protect the metal from the acid so it doesn't all etch is I take a paintbrush and paint an acid-resistant paint called asphaltum onto the plates. So I'll say paint some on an area I want to stay completely white, etch it for a while, paint some more, etch it, so it goes in and out of the acid, each time etching deeper and deeper, so that the plate has variable depths of, of etch in it. And so when I ink it and print it, it will produce well, an image such as this one, where these are etch, etch lighter, these are much darker, so it, it creates a 